what is going on guys Lawson here so today still on vacation with my family here and we're gonna do something a little different today we're gonna catch some live pinfish and just do a video about fishing with live pinfish you guys seem to really enjoy live bait videos and I've done some with live mullet live shrimp I've done one a long time ago with white baits but today we're gonna do one with pinfish I've never done a video using pinfish and there's a few ways we can go about catching some pinfish you can use a net and just blind cast for them. You can use chum and chum them up and then throw a net on them. Or you can catch them with a hook and line. And that is what we are going to do. We're going to use little sabiki hooks to catch some pinfish. We're going to probably just catch half a dozen to a dozen and start fishing and see if we can get some reds, trouts, cobia, tarpon, snook. Maybe not snook because I'm tired of snook. But whatever we can find. But we're going to get catching some pinfish here and get after it. So something funny my dad and I actually like to do when you're trying to catch pinfish Typically, a lot of people, they'll use live shrimp and just a really tiny hook and a little weight and they'll, or a split shot and they'll use live shrimp. But what we like to do is just use a scented soft plastic. These are gulps right here. And that way, you don't have to bring live shrimp with you or dead shrimp with you, I should say, just to catch some pinfish. And it's much more difficult for them to pull an artificial little rubber shrimp off a tiny hook than it is for them just to nip off a little piece of cut shrimp. So what we're going to do is just bust out one of these gulps. Look at that, I already got a tiny little chunk that we've been using to just cut off tiny pieces and so I'm just going to use my pliers, pinch off tiny, tiny pieces. You probably can barely even see that just sitting right there on my middle finger and we're going to put those on our speaky hooks and it should work. And doing it this way as well, you won't have to worry about stopping by the bait store on your way out to pick up a bag of frozen shrimp or anything like that. You can literally just, most people have some type of scented soft plastic in their bag and literally you could use one shrimp which I mean, a pack of these costs you seven dollars, so one shrimp is like a dollar, and you could use that one shrimp and just use tiny chunks of it and last you a long time as long as you keep it in the uh, scented juice and it doesn't dry out. All right, we are rigged up and good to go. Got our speaky here, got little tiny chunks of uh, scented shrimp on it, and we're gonna get catching some pinhead Larrys here and see if we can get some live bait in the boat. There's one. What do we got? Oh, look at that, Pinhead Larry. That right there is a perfect size bait. There's one. Pinhead number two. Got a bigger one on here. I think I got a grunt. Type of grunt right here. Not what we're looking for though. Drop them right back in. Pinhead number three. If you're not aware why they're called pinfish, they have some super sharp dorsal fins and pec fins and anal fins that will literally just slide perfectly into your finger like a hypodermic needle practically. They're very sharp. Oh, so these aren't pinfish. Oh, it's a freaking skipjack. Oh, and a... Okay. Well, I have a huge spot and a skipjack on. Now, skipjack, these are like the worst things on the planet right here. You would think this would be an awesome looking bait, but dude, these have fins on them that could put a catfish to shame. Like, make you want to die type fins. See those fins right there? Make you cry home to your mommy if one of those stuck into you. That's a little skipjack. A big, fat, giant spot right here. We won't keep him. These do work for bait as well, but we're just gonna focus on pinfish today. Don't don't act like you're not impressed with that monster inshore lizard fish right there. All right, we got a little pinhead hooked up right here. I have him hooked right through the bridge of the nose. Typically, I like to hook fish like uh, sand perch and pinfish through the back, like right underneath the dorsal ridge, but I'm gonna be moving around a little bit with the trolling motor, so I wanna be able to drag him through the water you can see him down there, he'll just swimming along with the boat and that'll keep him alive a lot longer here. And so we're just gonna cruise right now and approach this mangrove island here and pitch him up right underneath the mangrove and see if a redfish or a trout will come out and smack him. Oh, big red. Damn. Damn. Big redfish just swam by the boat. He was spooked already though. Ooh, houndfish just smoked the pinfish. There it is. You're about to see something mad, I think, here in a second. If 
he stays hooked up. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, hopefully the thing doesn't come out of the boat. They'll do that, man. Oh, he smoked it. <laughs> you kidding me? A freaking houndfish peeling drag. Oh. I'm just hoping this thing doesn't come into the boat on me. I can't believe he scarfed that pinfish down. I'm just being careful about turning his head towards the boat because he will freaking jump in here. Right, let's see if we can land this houndfish here. What a freaking sick fish right there. He engulfed that little pinfish so quickly. He is beautiful. He's bleeding a little bit so we won't keep him out for too long. But look at that mouth on that fish right there. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a beautiful fish, man. There he goes right there. Well, all right, there's our first fish on a pinfish right there, a big old hound dog. I mean, that was just cool, man. I mean, I know hound fish aren't really true game fish, but they fight well, they pull hard, they leap around like a little miniature sailfish or something. That was cool, man. But uh, we're gonna re-rig and keep going. Second it landed, something already grabbed it. Our houndfish already has it in its mouth the second it landed. He's chomping on it, running, 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 running. Oh, he let it go. He figured something was wrong. Another one just came and picked it up, though. There's a lot of them out here. Am I on? Yeah, I'm on. I don't know if I even have a houndfish on. No, dude, one of those freaking catfish came and picked up the... Damn, dang it. Get out of here. <laughs> The, a houndfish, I literally watched a houndfish swim around with the pinfish in his mouth like that, carrying it, and then he spit it out because he realized he was, had a hook in it. Oh, look at this little shark coming up to look at the catfish. There's a lot going on right here. And you are the least of what I wanted out of everything out here. Talk about another fish that I missed today. day up. I've gotten to a point where I just lip these things. Gaff top sail cat right there. Off he goes. Some absolutely behemoth ladyfish just swam beneath my boat, man. I just got whacked. I don't know what I have on here, but something just ate the pinfish. Feels decent. Oh, I just let go. Oh, freak, it's a freaking shark. <laughs> oh, God. Come on now, I literally just put a new hook on. <laughs> I think I see some reds coming across. Oh, way too freaking close. What are you doing? One still, one didn't spook though. One's still up there. Redfish right in the zone with my pinfish. I don't know if he's gonna eat it or not, but. Oh, come on, baby. All right, we are about to close out the day here. Got one little pinhead left. I also uh, lost my hat on the run in, and I now need to get a new hat. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm throwing today or what the setup I'm using to throw these little pinfish around. This is a Shimano Trank 300 on a seven foot six medium heavy 13 fishing black omen, 30 pound braid, and about seven feet of 30 pound fluorocarbon right there to a four out circle. Now four out is almost a little small. I would probably prefer a five or a six, but four is the only thing I had, so it's either four or an eight. So we went with four today. And it's been working out okay. I mean, I've definitely been in the trash can today catching houndfish and catfish and getting bitten off by sharks. You know, I saw a few redfish. I just didn't get any actual eats from them, but that's just the way it goes. But we're gonna finish out the day here flipping around some docks with pinfish and see if there's maybe a big snook, tarpon, or a uh, redfish hanging out underneath these docks, underneath some boats, and we're gonna flip our pinfish around and see if we can make it happen. It's, do it's a little too narrow to even make a lot of accurate cast under there, and I think we'll end up killing our pinfish. So I'm gonna go to the back end of this dock and just free line, let them swim all the way underneath here. Oh, might just kill them there. I just watched something pick it up underneath the dock. I don't know what it was though. So I'm letting it take it for a while this time. There it is. Oh, don't get me on the pilings, boy. Oh, it's a freaking catfish. I already saw it's a catfish. I just threw it my pinfish. 
seems like a fitting way to end the day, right? I'm <laughs> like garbage. All right, well, that'll be the uh, last fish of the day because that was my last pin fish. We have uh, definitely been in the garbage can here. Oh, God, what is going on? Big, fat, hardhead catfish. Look at that stomach. That's insane. I don't know why it's feeling like that, but we'll get it back in the water to stop it. <laughs> well, we're going to call it a day there. We've used all of our pinfish. Had about 10 in the well, and some died, and some got eaten by sharks and catfish and all that kind of stuff. Definitely wrestled around in the garbage can today for sure, catching catfish and houndfish, getting busted off by sharks. You know, I saw a few redfish, and I maybe had like one or two probably one chance at some and I had one sniff it and get right on the pinfish and just wouldn't eat it you know that's just the way it goes honestly pinfish it wouldn't be my first take or my first grab if I had my choice of any type of bait they're just good for certain things they're good for fishing on the bottom and deeper water and stuff like that as well or fishing around structure pinfish work really well and they are a good bait but I wouldn't say they're my first pick but today was fun I don't really ever get to fish with pinfish ever because back home where I'm from we don't really have very many we still have much grass so we don't get redfish and trout pinfish all that kind of stuff and I will say dude that houndfish was freaking a ton of fun to catch man and they jumped and he pulled drag and he's leaping around you know you got a ladyfish that's a poor man's tarpon I'll say the hound, houndfish that's a poor man's sailfish right there um, today was fun though. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate you guys very much. Got some exciting things coming up here. Gonna be on the move, traveling, but I had a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time.